Y'all already know hit the subscribe and like button. And we just gonna jump off into this. Man, look at the hate I generate. Probably because I've been a great, but it never could penetrate. Cause most of my intimidate. Demonstrate with this pen, I eliminate. They disintegrate. Toss them off in the lake while they're resting up on my dinner plate. Cause they've been a race, so why y'all hyping them up? I'ma make a real they been stuck with a spike in their good. Cause I took a dump on this track and now I'm wiping my butt. Now I'm slicing the dice in the up with just a knife in the foot. Is this been a, a, a somewhat huge thing for probably about a year now man maybe a year uh close to a year i'm thinking a year maybe be a little bit before a year uh, this thing called passport bros passport bros and it has became like a uh, very a very very deep topic a very deep situation that a lot of people is talking about on a lot of different platforms. And so I had to address it. You know, at first I wasn't. I was laying cool on it for some time now. Video today. And I was like, man, you know what? I need to uh, go ahead on and address this. And, you know, and kind of put it out there. Lay it out. And see what's, you know, what y'all think about this whole passport. Bros. Getting your passport. And go over, you know, to another country or whatever and finding your wife. Where's my take on that? Y'all already know what my take is. My take is, I don't, y'all know what kind of channel this is. I don't make a channel to make you feel good. Uh, for so long, we has had so many channels, so many uh, movies, so many artists making songs, so many preachers. So many laws, so many, all of this stuff cater to people's feelings. And um, not to me and feelings, because nobody never cared about us. But let me rephrase that, cater to women feelings, how women feel. One of those guys that, you know, truth is truth, right? You know, you know when you tell the truth, it's going to hurt some people. They're going to say you said it wrong. They're going to say you said it too aggressive. It's going to always be something when you tell the truth. I built this channel. I didn't do, I didn't come in into it with, with, uh, being fake because of how you may feel in mind. So let me dive off into that. Passport bros, they're getting these passports to go to these other countries and find wives. And they're saying the reason why they are doing this because they are not wanted by their own and that women. the women in Western America is not marriage material and not worth dating or marrying. Y'all could say I'm saying this because I'm a man. It's, it's, it's not. I just tell the truth. And and I can see why they're doing that. And because it's mostly black women. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why. Thousands of videos to prove my point. Thousands of videos. Even Kevin Samuels done this. Thousands of videos where black women. See, I like to separate the two because they're trying to make it look like it's a black man versus black black woman war going on. It's really not. It's the black woman against the black man and the black man defending himself. That's what that is. And to prove what I'm saying, for some of y'all that might disagree on that, to prove what I'm saying... They didn't, I've never seen a masculinity movement that was launched that said we didn't need a, a, a black woman or we didn't, we, we, in, we strong and independent we didn't want a woman and we didn't need a woman. I never saw that movement. Maybe y'all need to see, show me that movement again. I never, I never even heard of that movement. I never seen laws put in place. To protect masculinity. I haven't seen that. Maybe y'all need to show me that one. You see what I'm saying? I haven't seen this. You know, so this just proved my point of y'all that try to make it a, a masculine versus a, a feminine thing or, or a black woman versus a black man thing. That's definitely not the case. Black men are just, what we're saying is, hey, this is, y'all pushing for this. You saying you don't need us and you saying you don't want us, right? Cool. Cool. We can't make you need us and we can't make you want us. Right? Uh, so we're going to go where we are needed and where we're wanted. That's it. 
Now, if you saying you don't need us and you don't want us, why is there a problem? Be no problem. We 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 we'll, we'll load off y'all, right? You know, because I've been saying this. How could any man be with any woman? And I see this a lot. That saying she don't need a man, but she just got one. I just I don't need him, but I got him. You you feel what I'm saying? So this is the average mentality that all women has adopted over the last 20 years. And social media just in just pull uh fuel to the fire because what it has done, it has made women every size. This woman can be 800 pounds. She can be 600 pounds. She could be 400 pounds. It made her catch on and start saying the same thing too. So women are just repeating what other women they say saying. that they don't want no average man when they are average or below average. So why would I date any of these women? This is the average thinking woman. I'm going to go across the sea, cross seas too. And this is the thing. Women hate accountability. I've been saying it. So whenever men start waking up and saying, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm no longer about to be a fool anymore. I'm done with being a fool. We're done with this type of behavior. Right. Women coming to the table saying they don't want to date an average man. These women got three, four kids by three, four different men. I've never seen this How in my life. You have three, four different humans come out of your body by three, four different men and tell a man, tell men what you don't want. And that's cool. You can say that all you want. But don't get mad when we say what we, we don't, don't want high mileage women. We don't want drama women. We don't want women that's bringing all this baggage to the table. Oversized women, overweight. We don't want none of this. This is what we're saying. We, we said we don't want fake women. Y'all bringing all these long two, two inch eyelashes to the table, BBLs. We don't want it. But when we say this stuff, we're gay. You know what I'm saying? We're, 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 uh, we've been hurt. Who hurt us? You, you see what I'm saying? So it's, it, it ain't gotten real bad. It have gotten so bad. Let me even say this. Women is making videos about how bad it has got these with these women. These are women got, got it, it, making these videos. So, and then I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I just heard this today. The women got a group now where they're going to other countries looking for white men. This is hilarious. As if they're battling black men. And these are black women. And this is insane. Because we're not battling you. You said you didn't want us. It's not a battle. You said you didn't want average men. You want that one man that all women want, right? Because you want a piece of the pie. You want to be able to get just a piece of that six-figure man. You want to drop a kid by him, and you want to get out of there and get that little piece, right? See, we know the game. We know the game. That's why all of y'all want that one man. Remember, I always say this. Go to an Usher concert. Go to a, a, a Chris Brown concert. Go to all these romantic type of guys where these women go throw their uh, panties on stage. Go to all those concerts. Just look at those women. I used to do that. <laughs> Just look at them. 99% of women that's at that concert that's, that's screaming over that guy. And they've been like this since day one. Whether they married or not, they want that man. They want to sleep with him. And if they had a chance to sleep with him, because this is how women think. This is their dream. This goes on. Uh, while they're in bed with you, they, they wish they was in bed with Chris Brown. And if they had the opportunity, they will. All of those women in there want that same man. That's why they're there. It's not just his music. He's lying on the music. Let's keep that real. <laughs> He's lying on the music because that's what sells his rackets. So just like preachers. Preachers lie to women because why? They know that the women going to pay the offering, right? So everything is to lie to women. So when we come and we tell women the truth, we're toxic, we're bitter, we're gay. They can't do them but say the same old thing. It's the same thing. Instead of saying, hey, you know what? You're right. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to change. Maybe we need to work on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we've been fooled. Maybe we've been tricked. They tricked us. You know, they tricked black women to telling them, 
she's not good enough. She, you know, back in the day. Um, and we never said this. Black men been getting, been dating, been marrying, and been getting black women pregnant since the beginning of time. You just can't. So we're not saying this. So you can't put that on black men. But they trick y'all. Black women listen to the trick like they always do. And they went and changed all of this stuff about themselves. On Alex, you look like transgenders. I'm just going to say it. You look like transgenders. We don't, we can't tell you apart anymore. Uh, you got the same cut the hair that transgenders got. Uh, you got on all the caked up makeup because that's what transgenders got to do because they got to try to blend in to look like women. You see what I'm saying? They can't, they don't have natural beauty. So you went and did all this. You went and got the fake butts, but then you said you do it because man. No, you did not do it because of us. We never told you we like it. You never came to us and said, what, how do you feel about us getting this? Y'all never asked that question. You go and do what you want to do, knowing that society has told you you can put it back on a black man and everything will be okay. So, Passport Bros saying, hey, we want feminine, we want submissive women. Simple. It's not hard. Um, I listen to these women talk now. Their voices is deep. You know what I'm saying? They got on all this stuff. Their voice real deep. They masculine. They argue. We say get in your face. They think they can hit you because they have been painted the picture that they are more dominant than you. These movies, they didn't watch too many of these Tyler Perry movies, too many, too many of these action movies where they're killing men now. And you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's funny now. So we need to, to, uh, with the passport bros back on that, I, I agree with it. And I definitely been said that because how are we letting women that have been had by dozens and dozens of men tell name all these things, all these requirements that we got to have to be with you. And then when we tell you we want a, a, a submissive woman, one thing, there's a problem. And then you say you don't, you, these are average women saying they don't want average men. This is insane. So I got to give it up to those passport bros. They starting to wake up. Men are starting to wake up and say, Hey, this is enough. This 2023. We're, we are no longer about to sit around and let these washed up women. I'm just going to say it real. These women has been had by all these men, high mileage. Tell us they don't want us, and we sit here and listen to this. That's why I always tell y'all guys, men, always keep yourself where you can get women. Because you got to understand, they outnumber us big time. Don't let women fool you. Don't let them play you like simps. I don't let no woman put you in the friend zone. Always keep yourself, your mind, to where you know you are the leader. You are the prize. I'm out.